Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today, I'm going to do a little video on my plans with the S20 and my uh, my new Note 20. Um, so, I am actually trading in my Samsung Galaxy S20 5G unlocked right here to Samsung um, and getting the $650 trading credit, uh, which I used towards the Note 20. I went ahead and got the regular Note 20. I didn't get the Ultra. Um, and the reason for that was one, um, cost, and two, um, I actually like the flat screen better. Um, so on the S20 here and you know the other devices that have the edge screen and stuff like that, I tend to use my devices one-handed. Um, and I know that's going to be a little bit different on the Note because it's such a large device. But when I'm gripping the phone and trying to scroll, I find that uh, the edge of my finger or the edge of my palm right here rests up against the edge of the phone. And sometimes it just makes it really hard to... Um, to scroll the screen, you know, it gets all confused and all that kind of stuff, um, and your, your input gets all messed up. So I actually prefer the flat screens. Um, I've been using the Pixel some too, and the flat screen on that is quite nice because that doesn't happen. Um, don't really have that issue on my iPhone either. So I went ahead and got that one because it saved me a couple hundred bucks. I don't need the micro SD card slot. I've never put a micro SD card slot or I, I never put a micro SD card in my um, my S8, my S9, my S10, my Note 9, my Note 10. Just haven't done it, so didn't need to spend the extra money on something I'm not going to use. 128 gigabytes is plenty of storage. Um, you know, everything is is plenty just you know for me. So went ahead and got that one. Plus, I usually use my iPhone as my main device, so I didn't want to spend a couple hundred extra dollars on a phone that I'm not going to be using every day. Um, and that was pretty much it. Along uh, with the screen, um, I know the other one has 120 hertz refresh rate and the the higher resolution. You can only use one of those at a time. I tried it on here where I'm using 60 hertz and 1080, and it's really not. Um, the resolution's not too noticeable. Um, the refresh rate is a little bit noticeable, but it's something that once I get used to, it'll be fine. Um, my iPhone's only 60 hertz, so once I get used to 60 hertz again, I'm not going to really, you know, miss the 120 hertz. Sure, it's nice to have. But again, I find that that kills the battery a lot anyway. The higher refresh rate, the higher resolution um, definitely has an effect on battery life. Um, as I found when I had my OnePlus uh, 8 Pro, um, that was a significant factor in getting all day battery life or not was your uh, refresh rate and your resolution. So that is that. That is my plan. Um, trading in the S20 um, for the Note 20. I will put some links to the, some of the stuff I'm getting down below. You guys can check it out on Amazon. When you use those links, it does support the channel. So if you're interested in anything, please use those links down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Nothing different on your end. I just get a little bit for it. Um, so if you're looking for cases or the phone itself, um, I will put some links down below to where you guys can purchase that stuff. As always, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel because I will be doing an unboxing of the Note 20 uh, and all the accessories and doing some reviews and videos on it. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.